Hey there, welcome. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome all together. Well, today, fix this here. There we go. Today, we have, as you can see right there, Friday the 13th, part two. Now, this movie here has a very special place in my heart for me because this was the very first Friday the 13th movie. This was the very first horror movie that I ever saw in my entire life. And I was at the young age of nine years old. And I have a lot to say about this movie, so stick around. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button. And you see that little logo down there at the bottom of the screen in the corner? That right there, you click on it and you automatically subscribe to my channel. You don't have to go to my channel at all. You automatically subscribe. And uh, so please click that button. Please click the bell. That way you are notified whenever I upload a video. And so, and so if you, um, so if you're new, please subscribe. And for those of you who are already subscribed, thanks for coming back. And if y'all haven't clicked that bell already, please click the bell. And please leave comments. Please leave likes. So let's get into Friday the 13th, Part 2. Now, Friday the 13th, Part 2 was a very very good movie if you have not seen this movie please go watch this movie before you finish watching the rest of this review because this will definitely without a doubt have spoilers in it because I have a few things to say about this movie so Friday the 13th part 2 was <coughs> excuse me was uh, from 1981 and it is a very, very good movie as far as I'm concerned. It's one of the better sequels in the series. It starts the whole Jason thing, and I personally like it. Um, you know, um, pretty much every review I've seen on YouTube, uh, nobody really knocks this movie all that much. It's a really good movie. So it's basically about Jason getting revenge for the death of his mother. And in the very beginning, he shows up and he is after Alice, who was the final person at the end of the very first one. And who is the one who chopped off his mother's head at the very end of Friday the 13th. So he's getting revenge on, on her and uh, kills her at the very beginning of the movie. How in the world, I want to know, how in the world did he know where to go to find her? It's not like he killed her at the camp. No, he goes to her house, to her apartment, to her whatever that is that she's living in and actually gets into there and kills her, sticks her right in the temple with a ice pick. I have no idea. I don't know how. It's not explained. So anyway, he goes, um, he does that. And five years later, which is not let, it is, is not known until later in the movie when one of the characters, Paul, is telling the story of Jason and he just lets us know that five years later. So we don't have a clue that it's five years later after he killed Alice. But anyway, so, <laughs> so anyway, um, so he makes it back to camp and starts doing his thing. Um, 
starts killing all the counselors again. And um, by the way, have you ever noticed when you watch these movies, there are no kids at these camps? At this camp whatsoever, except till part six. Kind of interesting, I think. Kind of weird, don't know why. It's a summer camp, but there's no kids. I don't get it. But anyway, so he is, uh, So he is uh, killing and doing his thing, and and I gotta say, um, I really like this movie. Like I said before, the story is great, the acting is pretty good. I wouldn't say top notch, but hey, you know. Um, and I love the look of Jason in this. He uh, he looks like he's from like the backwoods. From like a, a, uh, he's got, he's got overalls on and he's got a, a sack looking thing over his head. Some people say it's a pillowcase and some people say it's a potato sack. Um, I'm not sure exactly what, what it is exactly, but it looks pretty darn cool. When I was little though, uh, I always thought it was just a potato sack. That's what everybody I knew called it. So that's, that's what I'm leaning on. But anyway, so, you know, he has, there's good kills in this movie. There is um, just an all around good story. It's, it's a very good movie. I do recommend you go check it out. Um, if I were to give this a rating, I'd give it a five out of five because I really have nothing negative about it at all. Um, but, um, but let me get into why this movie means so much to me. When I was little, uh, about around the age of nine, um, I saw this movie. And it wasn't because I wanted to see it. Honestly, I got kind of tricked into seeing it, really. Um, my sister, my older sister, um, she rented it from the movie store and was going to watch it and she didn't tell me that it was a scary movie or anything like that she didn't give me no kind of warning so I mean I say it's her fault but um, so anyway she popped the movie in we started watching it and I've got to say, for a person who has never seen a horror movie, scary movie, Friday the 13th movie ever, until then, that this movie scared me to death, literally. Um, and, of course, you know, you watch it now and it's not scary whatsoever. You know, but you, you sit there and you think to yourself, why was I scared of that way back then when there's no reason for it no reason to be now because th this is more humorous than it is scary now but back then for those of you who know what i'm talking about and grew up back then uh these movies were scary and you know so so this movie scared me pretty bad uh, i had trouble sleeping uh for about a, about a week and uh of course, you know, my sister didn't help matters by, you know, messing with me the whole time and all that. Because uh, she knew it scared me. And so, so that's why this movie has, holds so much, you know, is because of that reason. Um, and every time I watch it now, it just reminds me of back then. And, and it's just, come on now, stay up. Yeah. And it's just a really, 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 really good movie. It's one of my favorites. Like I said, I think it's my absolute favorite because of that reason. This was the very first Friday the 13th movie I ever saw. And honestly... It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, 
definitely better in my opinion than the first. I think they could have actually started with this one and just left off the first. I tell you what they could have done, actually. They could have shown like they did at the beginning of this movie where they showed Alice laying there dreaming about what happened uh, in the first movie. They could have started with that. Never made the first movie, but they could have started with this one and just started and shown her laying there on the bed dreaming about what had happened and showing her kill Mrs. Voorhees and it could just be something that happened to her a while back that you know she's just struggling with and Jason comes in and gets revenge on her but I don't know that, that that's just my opinion that's just my opinion I think that would be really cool if they did that instead of actually making the first one but um but yeah um this is just a really good movie i do recommend it like i said um great kills pretty good acting um just jason's really creepy in this um to me this is him at, at the creep at the creepiest uh that he's ever been as the series goes on in my opinion he gets less and less creepy he's just because in this one you hardly ever see him you don't see him till the end and if you do see him you see maybe his feet walking around you may see his hand or you may see you know his arm come into frame and move something or whatever you don't actually ever see him until the very end. Now, as the series goes on, you see him constantly through the whole movie. He's just not even a mystery anymore. You know. But that's what I liked about this one, is the fact that you didn't see Jason. And you saw bits and pieces of him. And to me, that just made it a little more creepier uh, and all that. So, anyway, this was my review of Friday the 13th Part 2. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you, like I said, are new and you like this review, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please click that little logo down there in the corner. And you can automatically just subscribe right now. You don't even have to leave the video. And please leave a comment letting me know your thoughts on this movie. If you uh, had any experiences with it like I did or just your general thoughts about it. So hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.